What's up with you for today's video, we're looking for highest health stat Pokemon T for Generation 9. Now, I picked the most six fattest Pokemon and I put them onto one team. Now, I tried to come up with move sets which made like sense with the health stat and some other hilarious moves that I got, which I thought was pretty cool. Now, can you guess what the six highest health stat Pokemon are in Gen 9? Let me know in the comment section. Maybe pause the video here, write them in the comment section, and see if you are right. If you want to support the channel, people, hit that like button and let's get into it. First battle here, this uh, random battle on the Poker Portal. We have a battle against J Judith. And we have a Talonflame lead, Flamboussard. Flamboussard. Okay, that's, uh, is that French? So we got this, oh, uh, this is a Pip Knight special. So we've got a, a Focus Sash Clod Sire. We got Counter Protect, Gunk Shot, and Earthquake. So since it's got such a good health stat, I wanted to make a fun set out of it. So I went with a Hasty Nature Clod Sire. We have zero IVs in health. We got max uh, max attack and max speed, which is going to be pretty cool there. Going for the counter, getting rid of the Talonflame with its little acrobatics there. I actually got trolled by someone a couple of videos ago. They used a Focus Dash Poison Point set. So I thought, let's give this a go. So we've got the Tegenga coming in here. It's called Ectoplasma. So I've seen this the other night. This is definitely a French Pokemon team. So I'm going to get dropped there by the Shadow Ball. That's the end of the Tailwind as well. So we're going to go with the next Pokemon, Varadraft. Also, as you can see there, I've nicknamed all the Pokemon after their health stats. So Clodzire had 130 base in uh, health. We have Giraffe Freak here. Sorry, Farrah Giraffe. <laughs> They're both Giraffes with 120 in its health. And this was, let me bring this up. We've got a Max Health, of course, and Max Attack set. Brave Nature, zero IVs in speed. So we got this real scumbag trip rooming set. So we got uh, Beat Up, Zen Headbutt, and Double Hit with the King's Rock. Armor Tail as the ability. So Giga's going to go down there, which is, uh, well, it's already dead anyway. And in comes this annoying boring brute bonnet so it's going to be putting him into sleep so i'm looking at my team and i'm thinking i don't have a lot of pokemon that can take this out maybe even out speed so it might be able to put like most of my team to sleep so crunch is going to do an enormous amount of damage to farrow draft here unfortunately i'm going to be sleeping on the job there and farrow draft is going to be fine so i have to get rid of this pokemon right now like in one shot so the only other Pokemon I got that can possibly do that is Iron Hands. So Iron Hands has a 154 health stat, and I've got Electric Terrain. So I'm like, how do we get around these uh, annoying spores? We go for Fake Out for a little bit of damage there, and then go for the Electric Terrain. So Electric Terrain is going to prevent all those sleeping moves on the field, and it's also going to boost up uh, its attack too. So this is a Arm Thrusting set. You've got to do a bit of thrusting. We've got Fake Out as well, and I've also got Heavy Slam, and we've got uh, Electric Terrain, and I've got Loaded Dice as the item. So i got this really cool move set with Arm Thrust. So Arm Thrust is a mean move, right? No one will you know, probably ever use it, but it's got 15 base power. So I thought it'd be funny for Iron Hands to at least attack four times in a row, possibly five. So what I'm going to do is go for Fake Out. I virtually got no damage after the leftover recovery. So then I went for a Thrust. I'm like, this Thrust is doing some pretty good damage here. But the problem is I need more Thrust. I need like, I don't know. Like, you can imagine like a rocket in the sky, right? It's flying up. It's getting close to going to space, but it didn't have enough Thrust. And then it fell down to Earth. So that's what happened there. But at least I was able to tank any attack that this Pokemon could do. And finish it off with a Heavy Slam Waylord. So that's the end of Fungus... Fungus fu Fury? Fury? I'm not really sure how to say that. But that's half the team anyway. Now, the next one is Char... Char... Nearly said that one. Charka Rock, I think that is. I'm going to be going for a Terra here. Now, this is a Terra fighting uh, Iron Hand. So, I thought I'd be a bit of a smarty and go for a, um, a Terra fighting Arm Thrust. And I want to see how much it would do. I'm like... The only bad thing that could possibly happen here um, would me getting credit or the Gartrop has rough skin because obviously each time I use arm thrust, rough skin activates. I'm like, okay, let's hope that it doesn't have it. And it didn't have it. So I'm like, oh, that's really sucks. Now every single time I thrust right, 
Um, it, it, it's gonna, it's gonna be painful. Anyway, that's, we're trying to keep this video PG. So that's gonna be the end of the, uh, Iron Hands there. It did a pretty good job there, got rid of, I mean, the main thing is it got rid of the Brute Bonnet. That was a, uh, a brutal matchup. So we're gonna go into the highest health stat Pokemon in Generation 9, so Titan with a thumping 170 health stat. Now, fun fact here, Satan is the fourth highest health stat Pokemon in the entire game. What do you think the other three are? Matter of fact, you probably know one already. I'm going to give it to you the first one, Blissey. What's the other two? See if you can guess them. You're not allowed to look anything up there. See if you can, you know, the top of your, you know, uh, Pokemon uh, encyclopedia mind. See if you can pick that up. So next Pokemon is going to be Floracat, which is, of course, the Glimora. Glimora is going to go for an Acid Spray. So the next uh, special attack, so Titan is most definitely going to get dropped. So I've got this Nosegate special meme set, and it was actually enough to take out Glimora. I was pretty happy with that. So I had Max Health and Max uh, Special Attack, Modest Nature, Snowscape Blizzard, Water Pulse, and Terra Blast, uh, Terra Blast Ground. So in comes Scissor here. I'm able to go for a Water Pulse and inflict massive damage. <laughs> did nothing. So it's going to finish me off with a Bullet Punch there, and that's the end of the time. So like, okay, there's one Pokemon here that I can swap in. Now it's got a thumping 150 health. It's Bendozo, right? So Dondozo is going to have a... It's a classic Pimp Knight set. We've got Fissure, Sleep, Talk, Rest, and Soak. So what you do, right, is you fire as many fissures off as possible. And if the opponent is like, say, a flying type, you give them a soak, turn them into a water type, and then you hit them with a fissure, right? It's a pretty fun set, and it's very, very fat, too. Uh, has the ability unaware. So this scissor is setting up sword dancers, and uh, they're wasting their time. They were very, very lucky there to get an X scissor, but then again, I was very, very lucky here to get a fissure right after that. So that's going to be the end of the scissor there. It's going to, you know, fall into the center of the earth. And I, I guess scissor, since it's made out of metal, which just like, I don't know. It would just, like, melt on the spot. I wonder what happens when you put something into lava. Like, you know, like, you know for example, you've got, like, a volcano, right? It's flowing profusely. And you've got the lava there. It's, like, it, obviously, it looks very liquidy. Like, to, if you drop, like, a, say, if you drop, like, a coin into there, would it be instantly melted? Or would it sort of, like, sit on the surface and slowly break down? I don't know. That's, that's, that's something interesting to think about there. Uh, anyway, so we got our guard job. It's got a Terra Ground here. Now, unfortunately, I went for a Soak to turn it into a Water type, you know, to power down its any you know, Dragon or Ground type moves there, and it's going to fail. So, unfortunately, Soak does fail on Terra Poker, which is a bit of a shame. You could have done some fun things there. Uh, anyway, it's going to go for a Drain Claw. That's the end of Don Dozo. I mean, let's be real. Fisher probably would have missed this. So I've got one more Pokemon left. Now, the last Pokemon on this team. Oh, Garchomp also has a uh, Life Orb as well. He's going to be the dumb spars. So we've got 125 base healthier. This is a special Serene Grey set. Ancient Power, Boom Burst, Stored Power, Shadow Ball, Max Health, and Max Special Attack. And that Max Health stat enabled it to live that very, very powerful attack there from Garchomp. And I'm going to go for a Boom Burst there. Garchomp's ears are going to explode. And that's the end of the battle. I hope you enjoyed the first game there. Thank you to my random opponent. What was their name again? Um, Judith, that's it. Okay, Judith, thank you. I almost said Judy. Thank you for the battle. If you ever see this video, uh, leave a comment. I always like to uh, you know, see if my uh, random opponents do ever see my videos. Uh, this is a battle against Ivan. I'm not sure if that's how to uh, pronounce it, but there's like a little uh, uh, you know, thing over the A. So the first Pokemon is going to be Foresters. We've seen quite a few Foresters this week. I've got the Iron Hands as the lead. Now, they're going to Terra turn one. I'm like... I beg you this is going to be a Terra Normal Foratress because I've seen these like non-stop for the last two weeks. So Foratress is going to have Terra Normal and I, I know what they're going to do already. So I'm thinking to myself, if they've got Sturdy, I could go fake out here, clap them Foratress cheeks and then go for a thrust, right? However, we got the Foratress swapping out. Now, my opponent also has a theme team. I wonder if you can guess what it is. Leave it in the comment section of the video. So next Pokemon is going to be Toxicroak. They swapped into the Thrust, and they're taking that Thrust pretty well. You know, they're going to be uh, not very effective. I sort of like the animation. It's really cool. It sort of looks like it's doing high five almost. Like, it's like, oh, it would be amazing if there's a Pokemon. Wait, imagine if you did it with two iron hands, right? They'd be doing high five, but they'd have to have three fingers instead of five. Or whatever. Anyway, so back to the battle. We got a nasty plot Toxicroak, which is going to be pretty nasty. I'm going to be going for a heavy slam because there's a big old sumo, and that is going to be enough to take out the Toxicroak, which is good. That's a good start there. Our special Toxicroak is no joke. Very, very versatile Pokemon Toxicroak. Next Pokemon is going to be Minecraft. I'm going to go for the Thrust here. 
and, and you know, as I knew, it was going to do like no damage. Now the Gargadacle has going to have the weakness policy. I was like, I thought another item for a second. It's got the weakness policy there, and I'm going to take a quick drink there because my throat's getting dry. Code salt, 30% off people on your G Fuel. And I'm going to keep thrusting this Minecraft block to a break throw. We need to get like 99 salt blocks, you know? Sorry, 999. I think that's the max like you can carry in a block. I, I, I honestly forget. It's been like years since I've played Minecraft too. So I'm going to get hit by an earthquake there. Since the Garganackle's attack and, well, Iron Hand's health stat was so high, I actually managed to leave Earthquake, which is pretty cool. And that's going to be the end of the Minecraft block there. Broke, I, I, I mined all the salt out of it. Now, uh, what, the next uh, Pokemon out we've got is the Cinderace. Cinderace is going to go for a Flare Blitz. So that's, uh, that's definitely the end of my Iron Hands there. One time when I was playing Minecraft 2, this, this was a long time ago, I'm, I made a compass and I somehow still got lost. Maybe that doesn't surprise you. And then my compass, like I was, I was mining the floor and I fell into the lava and my compass was the first thing to go into the lava. I somehow live, you wouldn't read about it. And then I got lost there, you know, even worse. Anyway, back to the battle I'm getting on a side track. We got a Weavile, it's gonna go for a Trailblaze. I was like, what? I was hoping you'd go for like a more powerful move than that. I went for Counter and it did good damage, but since Trailblaze did nothing, uh, you know, I would have preferred an Ice Spinner right off the bat there. But uh, that is the end of the, uh, the, the Clod site. It tried its very best there. Like, I don't know, I guess I was just unlucky they didn't Ice spin at first. Next Pokemon is going to be the Dumb Sparse. This is my uh, Ancient Power set. Now, this Ancient Power Stored Power, the Dumb Sparse, it's actually really, really powerful. Like, you watch this, right? So, go for the Ancient Power. That's going to be enough to take it out. I got the boost. So, with Serene Grace, Ancient Power is going to be... 20% chance to boost up all the stats by one instead of 10%. So, you know, doubling that secondary effect is like low-key good. I mean, it's not broken by any means, but, you know, it increases the chances. This is the great thing with uh, Ancient Power Stored Power, though, right? You get five boosts. That means Stored Power gets an extra 20 base power for each, then plus the initial. So that was 120 base power then. That was... uh. That was no joke, and you got a way to hit fighting type Pokemon as well, which is really, really cool. So in comes Cinderace, they've popped their high jump kick. I was this close to going for Terra Ghost. That's what my Terra is on this, uh, the Dunsparce, and I didn't do it. I wish I did now, because I would have crashed, and I would have gotten another KO. Now they're going to swap out the Cinderace. Obviously, they don't want to, you know, they don't want to fight the mighty Bendoza. I don't blame it. And in comes the, the Jolteon. Now this, uh, this Dom Doza, as you know, isn't Terra Ground. It's Terra Normal. Because I only really wanted one weakness. So I'm going to swap that out and go into Paradraft. Now, this Jolteon, it seems to be a you know, very, very standard set. That does a lot of damage. I was max health, too. That did a lot. And it's also got uh, Life Orb, too. So that's going to be the end of the Paradraft there. This is a very, this is a pretty no-joke team there, for sure, as you can see. So next Pokemon we got here is going to be the Satitan. So like, I have to set up the Snow here. So, Jolteon's going to go for Volt Switch. I, I, I guess I would have lived the Thunderbolt there. Just nice to know. Uh, Jolteon is going to swap out. Now, Cinderace is going to be coming in here. Since I've got the Snowscape going, that is going to mean I'll be able to outspeed. Because I've got Slush Rush as my ability. Slush Rush is going to double my speed in the snow, which is really nice. So, I'm going to go for Terra here. I've got Terra Ground in this, and I've got Terra Blast. Now, <laughs> on... um. This is interesting, right? So on to Titan's special attack, if you give it Modest Nature and zero IVs and attack, it actually has an even attack and special attack stat. So what happens there, it actually goes off to Titan's attack stat because the attack stat is high in priority. So say, for example, you've got two stats. Like, it's like Beast Boost, right? You work it down so it goes attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. It Obviously, attack is higher than special attack on the stat, so that's how it works uh, when things are even in exactly the same. So Jolteon is somehow going to live that attack. I swapped into my Don Dozer to take the uh, Shadow Ball or whatever there, and uh, Jolteon is definitely going to die to the life ball of damage. Like, it look, almost looked like Don Dozer was going to eat that little uh, Shadow Ball like a Tatsuguri. So bye-bye, Jolteon. And that is also the end of the uh, the second battle there. So I wonder if you guys what that... Uh, what that theme team uh, was there as well. I need another sip here. My, uh, my voice is very... Excuse me. My voice is uh, a little bit uh, dry today, you know. So next Pokemon is going to be Skeledurge. Uh, my opponent, this is a battle against Wind. This is a very, very long battle like something else. So I'm going to swap out the Iron Hand set, and we're going to be going into the Dunsparce, expecting like a ghost move. Instead, they went for an Earthquake. So like, 
That actually did a little bit more damage. It's, I think this is a choice band sound. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a choice band skelly dirge. So I got an ancient power there. Didn't get a boost, unfortunately. I think maybe if I got one boost, I could have bad lived that. Like, it would have to be like probably min damage. So that's the end of the dump spark. Now I'm going to go into start now. I'm pretty confident that they don't have any uh, fire type moves. Or if they do, they're going to have to swap and use them. So we're for Snowscape there. And uh, now Skeletorge is going to go for Earthquake. So they're definitely choice banded. I could sort of tell by the damage they were doing to me. So I've used physical uh, Skeletorge before. So Water Pulse is going to do, a, you know, obviously a disappointing amount of damage there. And uh, Earthquake is, yeah, it's about a five hit KO, you know. That snow is definitely helping. So go for another Water Pulse there. I was actually trying to get a confusion on Skeletorge. And, you know, it kind of uh, failed there. As a lot of my, uh, you know, failures happen there in Pokemon. But, uh, you know, that's that's the game for you. So, uh, Skeletorge is going to fight, which is good. So, I took out a physical Skeletorge in a children's game of Pokemon. Next Pokemon is going to be Blissey. Now, watch this. You wouldn't read about it. So, I went for the Blizzard. Blissey got Blizzarded and I got free sacks. I'm like, wow, this is really good. So, what I'm going to do, right? All I'm going to do, I'm going to pick my control up. And I'm just going to grasp it very nicely. And I'm going to spam the A button as much as possible. I'm, I'm, I'm literally, this is me, right? When I was doing this battle. Where you watch this. I was doing that the whole time. I was literally just spamming the A button. So Blissey is still frozen. It's letting it go. And uh, how many Frozen movies are there? are there? I know there's Frozen 2. Is there Frozen 3? Is that come out like? I don't know. Someone let me know. Uh, anyway, I'm keeping like, going for this Blizzard over and over. I restarted the snow because it stopped snowing. So I thought, you know, the second that snow stops, I know that I'm going to miss Blizzard. And Blissey will, you know, it will thaw itself out. I'm spamming Blizzard. I've got like a couple more left, I think. And Blissey gets... It's beaten by a special Satan only on Pip Night Show. You're never ever gonna see that again in your life, alright? It's never ever gonna happen. So Blissey's down, beaten by a special uh, I can't believe that's so lucky. And it comes the Toxpex. Now I went for Terror Blast here. Um, like really, I didn't have a lot to hit. I didn't want to go for Terror Blast ground, sorry, Terra Ground either. Toxapex is going to be a special set, which is pretty cool. Go for a Hydro Pump. Unfortunately, it is going to miss. However, the second Hydro Pump is going to land, and that's going to be the end of the Titan. But I was very lucky there. That's a Titan was um, I was popping off there with those Blizzards. Next Pokemon is going to be Feradraft. Like, this is good. I can go for a Zen Headbutt. I might even be able to set up the Trick Room here. Now, this is a very, very long part of the battle. Uh, so it's another Garganacle as well. So, as you know, Garganacle does have a lot of health and, you know, sorry, a lot of defense. And if it does have, um, you know, max health and max defense, it's going to be very, very bulky. So, this seems to be like a troll fissure set. I don't know what other moves it's got. I was like, it might have Soul Cure. I don't really know. But I had a lot of trouble with this. Like, I couldn't do much damage to it. And I was trying to go for a beat up here. So, this is a beat up King Drop set, Terror Dark. If I didn't already match that before, but the problem is, <laughs> like each attack I was doing, like, look at it, it was doing like one damage. Like, man, what do I do here? Like, do I do I risk swap in another Pokemon and get wrecked by Fissure, or do I just like you know let Faradraft do as much damage as humanly possible, Pokemonly possible, and then go into another Pokemon? You know, so I just decided to spam. You know, I was just spamming. That's eight hits there. Uh, on this Garganacle. I was curious whether it had any, like, recovery or not. Did it have recover or, you know, that was it. It only had leftovers. Also, for the purpose of this battle, I did take out the leftovers recovering every single turn because it just takes so long. Another thing I noticed through in between, especially moves like Bullet Seed, I don't know if you've ever noticed this before, I sometimes do tend to edit it out. When you use Bullet Seed in multiple concessions, say you use it four to five times, the space in between each hit is actually kind of long. So you five the seeds is like one, two. Then there's the next one, one, two. And if you add five, like five turns, that it goes forever. Anyway, so they swapped out their Garganacle, and in comes our Corvin. I was like, wow. Um, when you look at their team and you look at my team, these are two fat teams. Like all these Pokemon are really, really bulky. So I'm thinking to myself, how can I get rid of a bulk up Corviknight? You know, like. This is going to be really bad. So I'm thinking to myself, all right, there's one Pokemon on my team. There's only one because, remember, Iron Hands, I never gave an Electric-type move to because, I I know, I really tried to nerf that Pokemon. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's quite a good Pokemon. Plus, you know, I thought it would be funny to use its other moves. So I'm thinking to myself, Clodside, that's it. Clodside is perfection. So what I'm going to do is going to go into Iron Hands first and see what it's going to be doing here. I'm thinking it might be, I was thinking, it's either Body Press or Power Trip or some, tr like, peck, I don't know, <laughs> I have no idea. So Corvalite's gonna keep going for those uh, bulk ups here. I think it's got like three or four of them up now. It's it's defense is sky high. I've really, like, look at this, right? I went for a thrust, 
and it was really a must. So I kept going for like thrust, and it was doing like one or two damage per hit. I guess I was kind of hoping that uh, I get a critical hit, but this was this was like the sad, <laughs> just like the saddest moment of Pokemon ever right now. Look at look at the damage I'm doing. So I got five quality hits off there. Here comes Power Trips. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get swept. So. Power Trip is not very effective, but it's still doing a lot of damage. What Power Trip does, it's virtually like stored power, but it's a physical move and it's a dark type move. So every single boost you get, you get 20 base power, right? So it starts off at 20 and you get those stacks and stacks and stacks. And, you know, with Corviknight, it's a very, very good move because it's already quite bulky. You know, it's got good uh, health stat. If you max it special events, it becomes very, very hard to faint. And, you know, commonly it does have like a roost, you know, so... Very, very annoying Pokemon to get rid of, and it can set it up. So at this stage, you're like, man, I can't swap in a Clodsite. I can't sacrifice that Focus Sash, you know? So I'm going to have to let this just faint here to the Power Trips and uh, swap in. So Iron Heads is going to faint there. It was, uh, you know, sort of inevitable. And now I'm going to bring in my Clodsite. I was like, please attack me this turn. I've popped the counter this turn. Here comes the Power Trip, and thank goodness. I like, thank goodness I had... Thank goodness I encountered Clodside. No one's ever going to say that in their lifetime. But uh, thank goodness. That was the end of the corp right there. That really got me out of the woods. Woo. Now, the next Pokemon is going to be Garganackle. Now, I've got max speed on this. So, I outspared the Garganackle. And Earthquake did a pretty good amount of damage there. And they fit. They, they had Tackle. <laughs> they had Tackle and Fincher. And they finished my Clodside with a quality Tackle. Man, if the video doesn't get a like after that one, I don't know what will. So, Garganackle's going to go for a fissure. I'm, it's going to go for a fissure again. I think it was like a speed tie. And I went for um, an attack here. I was going for like Zen Headbutt. And my attack kept missing. And their attack kept missing. Like this part went off for ages. So, I was just doing Zen Headbutt after Zen Headbutt. So, I got a flinch there finally. I went for another one here. I was going for another flinch. And Garganackle kept missing, but then I kept missing, and the leftovers keep healing. I was like, oh, we've only got two minutes left of the battle. I was like, I need one more Zen head, but I got another flinch on Garganackle. Went for another one, fine. Like that, that in, like that in between there took like three minutes. Like I almost like I cut out and sped a lot of it up. So we got Toxapex left and one other Pokemon. I'm swapping out Faradraft. Something has to give here. And I'm gonna go into the Ben Dozer or something. Like, I have to go for Fissure. I've got not nothing else to lose here. So my opponent is gonna go for a Terra Toxpex. That's pretty nice, Terra Toxpex. That's got a nice ring to it. It's going to be a Terra Poison. I could have probably gone for Zen Headbutt there, you know, but I wasn't sure. I thought it might be like a Troll Terra. So we got 59 seconds, sorry, 69 seconds of the battle. Here comes the Venom Shock. Now, that actually did a good amount of damage. There's a four hit KO, and I've got the leftover recovery. So, like, I have to land the Fissure. I absolutely need to land it or I'm going to lose, right? Because I'm going to have left health. So I'm going to be going for a Terra Normal Dom Dozo here. And uh, I'm hoping that I need that fish, you know? So we've got 29 seconds of this battle left. I'm like, well, I'll probably be able to get two more moves left, you know, with all the animations and stuff. Here comes another Venom Shot. It started to do a lot of damage. I went for Fissure and it missed. I'm like, all right, I've got one more attack. I got my last attack in one second before this battle ended. <laughs> Toxapex actually got hit by Fisher. And that is it, people. We are going to get timed out there because the, I, know, I know the last Pokemon hasn't come in, so they're going to send it in. But the stupid 20-minute timer here is going to end our final. That was a clod sire too. But uh, that's it for the battle. The timer has run out. Let the salt flow play, people. I'll be back with a Pokemon Stadium stream a little bit later on. Should be fun. Peace out, people.